Hopefully that's not for too long. Paul Justin, his second starter quarterback for Cincinnati, and Kevin Hardy was just in time. Steps in front of the pass, returns it to the 11. Sets up, Jags third. And the Jaguars continue to bring the defense. Kevin Hardy, Har Hardy up the middle, and he sacks Chris Chandler. Oh, I'll say darn this time. Right. Fourth quarter, fourth and one for the Jets. Parcells gambling. Kevin Hardy tells Curtis Martin, what's my name, Curtis? Two Jaguars. Dave Craig trying to rally Tennessee. Kevin Hardy, Har Har, makes the sack. A 51-yard field goal, 79 Jags. Then Mike Tomzak, his first pass, picked off by Kevin Hardy, Har Hardy, the rookie. Cordell Stewart came in, was 0 for 2. Players over the age of 30, but the expectations are high. Let's see if they go inside on the quick throw or the deep out. Those are the two patterns they've hit in this situation. All right, here's Wright off the scramble and it's picked off. Kevin Hardy with his second interception of the season, tackled by Matt O'Dwyer, and now the Jaguars looking to use this as a lift. Tried to go back inside. It wasn't a timing throw that time, though. Frank Reich was flushed to the right a little bit. The coverage stayed with it. Let's watch it down the field. Kevin Hardy right there coming underneath. Just a throw behind. Poor throw by Frank Reich. First one today. Kevin, Kevin Hardy, the number one. Really the biggest one they have. Oh. Never had a chance as Hardy came in and buried Tomzak. Sack 47. Too easy. They lead the NFL. It's not often that you actually have a quarterback run into your arms with the, for a sack. They try and run a little play action. Hardy comes around the corner. He tries to get blocked. Chris Cummings range, Jim. Out and goes. Post corners. Pretty good rush. They hit him by the toes, but Whitechamp got loose. Set up first down inside the 20. The ball came out. Jacksonville is running with it. And are they going to say that Whitechamp fumbled it? It is picked up by Tony Brackens. And the officials, some of them are down. Two of them are wow. conferring. Jeff Fisher really is saying that ball was down. Wycheck was already down. Tom Coughlin is hoping that Jacksonville has caused the turnover. And the Jaguars are motioning that it's their ball. What a play. What an effort by Wycheck. What an effort by McNair. Look how strong this guy is. Any quarterback would have been down there. He gets it out, and then Wycheck showing very good open field moves here. Let's see what happened at the end of this play. Yep, that's a great call by the official. That ball flips out underneath his arm right before the knee goes down. A low play by the Jacksonville defense. And no, they did try to flip it. Yeah, they did. Early in the third quarter. Jeff Fisher left the field fuming on that controversial fumble call against his team. They ruled that Frank Wycheck did not have his knee down, and the football came loose, recovered by Jacksonville just before the break. But they're in trouble, and he got tipped over by Kevin Hardy, who came from the outside and finally went down. The sack of McNair. Now, Eddie George was telling us that he felt like Kevin Hardy was the best linebacker in college football. He comes in and makes an impact here. All-out blitz. See, blitz is coming from the middle. Untouched from the outside, and as you mentioned, Jim, he's the one that forced Steve McNair to step up into trouble. Third down at 13. Jaguars playing very well defensively. Six yard line. First time Pittsburgh has really opened the, 
their offense up tonight in a hurry up and they're effectively spreading out the defense. Huntley again and Bruner is going to be called for a hold. Big time. Holding, 87, offense, 10-yard penalty, second down. All right, Mark Brunner, there he is on Kevin Hardy. He's holding him, and, and that's...